International Conference on Agriculture and Forestry. My name is Dr. Hani Azalzale. I am uh, from Kuwait and uh, from, I'm working in Kuwait Institute for Scientific Research. Uh, today I would like to present uh, a topic, maybe some, it's a little bit extreme from your areas of uh, due to the environment we have. Today I would like to talk about the greenhouse propagations and management of Glacidia sibium in arid areas of Kuwait. Kuwait uh, is located in arid regions. Uh, our environment is very harsh environment. And uh, the, uh, first of all, our uh, soil, it is sandy soil, plus it's calcareous in certain areas. And we have water availability is uh, we desalinate the water from the sea. So we have brackish water if we are lucky in certain areas. And uh, also we have wind, prevailing wind, with dust storms and all that. Even with this, all these factors, okay, the government initiative, they say we need to enhance the country. How to enhance it? Okay, we need to make you know the life is better. We then uh, we put a master greenery plan for the whole country, from uh, border to border. Okay, this is a long-term master greenery plan. What this master greenery plan has many tasks. Okay, and this study is part, a small part from the. Master Green Air Plant, which is a plant evaluation. Okay, so we need, most of our uh, plant is important from other regions of the world. Before we apply it to, uh, to the landscaping, we do plant evaluation. Then if it is everything okay for uh, soil, for water, and can tolerate which part of the country, then we do the recommendation that it can be used in the landscape of Kuwait. Maybe uh, the picture below, you can see some landscaping, which is, you know, we started in a certain area, and with, as, uh, with the rapid development of urban and suburban areas in Kuwait, including residential and commercial area, the demand for greenery and beautification is incre increasing on large scales. So we need to have uh, large scale master plant. So greenery can be accomplished by plant introduction after screening and under the prevailing weather conditions of Kuwait. So we find out from uh, our experiment experience, it is possible even with, we are not going against the nature, we are going with the nature. So it is really, we are dealing science and art at the same time. So you need to work with the environmental factor and at the same time, you know, aesthetical factors. So one of the plants is suggested is to be used in our uh, uh, master greener plan for future. So to be evaluated, Glacidia sepium, which is introduced and evaluated in Kuwait to be used for greenery and beautification in Kuwait landscapes. So the development of a scientifically feas feasible and economically viable Glacidia growing practice in Kuwait requires technically sound cultivation practice for attaining this goal, the plant should be tested under the harsh environment conditions of Kuwait. So we believe that anything survive in our country will survive anywhere. So this is a good experimental lab. Okay? So when you say like, you know, if you run a fertility test, okay, if pass in Kuwait, pass everywhere. <laughs> 
So the present study quantified the vegetative uh, establishment and survival of Gracidia sibium without involving any costly misting system and uh, rooting hormones for induction of roots and compares two parameters such as seeds and cutting for the evaluation of desirable plant characteristics. To make the people to understand to accept you know, this plant and to be used, you know. So what we do, we, r we run our experiment in a progressive farm. We ask a farmer, can we run, you know, we do our trial in your farm. Then he say, from the farm to another farm, then, you know, from one farmer to another farmer, then people, if uh, they judge the plants. They see, you know, how our work is, is done. As part of the evaluation study, a greenhouse propagation and management of seedlings was conducted to, de to, de to determine the germination and establishment ability of different provinces. This is the farm site. This study was carried out between, uh, for six months uh, between September 2013 and February 2014 in Wafra area. Wafra area, Kuwait urban area is, as I mentioned, is extreme. Wafra is extremist. So if anything work in Wafra, will work in everywhere in Kuwait. Uh, if you see the grass in the picture, it is with the brackish water. Okay, we are uh, using brackish water about uh, uh, between seven to 8,000 parts per million. So the rainfall, if we are lucky, we get 100 millimeter. Yesterday, somebody said 1,200. They talk about drought. Here we are talking about one, 100 millimeter, if we are lucky. And extreme temperature varies throughout the year. Yesterday, hit 47. I mean, in the shade, huh? The summer temperature is very hot. 40 to 50, while the winter is cool to mild, with the main temperature, it dropped to three, sometimes zero ice. So we have variation about 55 degree, zero to 55, so we have a good variation. So crack, so concrete will crack. And we say still we can do it. The water resources are very limited. The AC is measured as uh, 6.75 DC per, per meter. So experiment one, we imported seeds from many provinces of the world. And we've, we've done trials on it to see what, which seed is the best we can use it for future work. First of all, we bring the seed and we suck it we suck the seed in water to uh, promote, to, uh, to enhance uh, germination in a room temperature for 24 hours prior to sowing to assure a higher germination percentage. Then the seeds were sown in germination trays filled with a medium of previously prepared moistened coca beets. They were sown superficially at a depth of two centimeter and gain again covered with coca beads. The seeds that germinated after uh, three weeks were counted and expressed as germination percentage for assessing the survival percentage. The seedlings that survived after two months were counted as expressed as a percentage here. So we can see from uh, the trays and then uh, we have the seedlings then transplanted to 10 uh, centimeter containers. So the uh, volume, the, the organic matter we used, it was coca beet, perlite, organic manure, and agricultural soil. So even sometime, the ag from these ingredients, uh, we have the manure. And Agriculture soil, we imported some time from, not outside the country, from the country. So we are lucky, so we have, we have, but it's sandy. Yeah, sandy clay. 
Experiment two is experiment uh, quantitative study on vegetative propagation from cutting in the greenhouses. So we imported cutting as well, just you know, to see. Cutting did uh, it was excellent as well. Pro propagation of Gracidia cutting is uh, the preferred method in many areas because it's uh, strikes roots very easily and from cutting you know from which plants so sometimes you like seeds there is some uh, variation but you know cutting so you know that, that the mother plant came from that plant that area moreover the cutting are, uh, are vegetative clone of the mother trees and therefore can be easily selected for desired uh, qualities the cuttings were planted in five gallon containers filled with a potting medium consisting of coconut beets, perlite, organic manure, and agriculture soils, with the volume, uh, the ratio two, one, 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 and was moistened with water prior to planting. This, the cuttings inside the, the greenhouse, very simple greenhouse we use. It's not sophisticated, <coughs> just in our plastic tunnels and uh, cooling pads. And also the cooling pad, we don't run it uh, all day. So we run it between 12 to 4 o'clock. Stakes were cut with a slant to, at the sprouting end to prevent uh, rotting and wound, wounded through the bark using a sharp knife to make several small incisions around the sticks to promote Rootings. Stakes were planted upright to a depth of roughly 20 centimeters into the planting medium. Uh, field study on initial uh, height and diameter of cuttings. The objectives of this study is to quantify the effects of initial stakes height and thickness on survival and shoot development of Gracidia sepium. So we want to know the length of the sticks and the thickness that can affect the uh, growth and, pro and survival rates. These sticks were made into small 50 centimeter length and long 100 centimeter length based on the length. They were again graded as T1 with 1.5 to 3 centimeters, T2 3.4 five centimeter t3 4.5 till six centimeter depending upon the thickness of the stems cuttings were planted in one meter apart the entire site was designed in a complete random factorial experiment with five treatment and ten cuttings of each category were planted <coughs> and it was uh, <coughs> ten treatment and n equal 50 total in the sites. The observation versus survival percentage number of leaves per plant were recorded in 90 days after plantings. The field study initial height and diameter of cuttings for assessing survival percentage seedlings that survive after three months were counted and analyzed in percentage the number of fully open leaves were counted and expressed as a number of leaves per cutting. We were really surprised, like, you know, with all this, you, if you can see, you know, the, the color of the soil is, uh, is light and some organic matter we put around it. And uh, really, the plant doing well, excellent. Data were collected monthly on survival and number of leaves per cuttings. We use a two-way ANOVA diameter and uh, height was performed on the yeah was performed on the last sinus data and treatment dif differences were determined with uh, a post hoc list significant differences tests germination study so this uh, figure okay we bring. Uh, uh, 23 provinces from 23 provinces uh, seeds okay 
And uh, we find uh, chapter number 10 in Ariaga, it was almost zero germinations. Probably this is uh, due to vitality. And maybe it's not uh, fresh when uh, arrived. But all of them are the same treatment, all of them under the same condition, ex except uh, that one. And uh, the, the highest was almost, you know, for the number 15, which is Penzola. Okay. And we get some variation, but you know, in a majority, it was excellent. So for Kuwait environment, it was excellent. But except for this one, uh, we didn't get a good result out of it. Result and discussion, germination study. 14 provinces have high initial germination success percentage of more than 75%, which can be cons uh, considered as an excellent result in the extreme harsh conditions of Kuwait. Similarly, all the germinated seedlings, respective of provinces, showed a good survival percent of more than 78% for the duration of the study. Even though eight provinces which had low initial establishment success of less than 75%, but the plant survival increased over time, maybe due to the timing. It is important to note that a difference in seed vitality affects the establishment of seedlings. So it's good, you know, to make sure, like, you know, uh, the source of the seeds before you bring it. So propagation studies on stem cuttings. Propagation study on the stem, uh, the percent establishment from uh, cutting. So we bring uh, 100 stakes provinces and we get also some uh, va variation and Ariaga is the it was the highest we get so it was a good uh, result you know for sproutings uh, and I think with the, uh, future uh, further future studies and practice we will get better results So effects of stem cuttings length and thickness on survival rates. So it was the treatment number two, it was uh, the best, which is the, the main, we get 66.5, which is uh, the best. With, and uh, about the thickness between three centi to 4.5. So we get uh, best results. And effects of stem cutting length and thickness on number of leaves per uh, cuttings as well uh, for treatment to give us a good uh, result survival and leaves. So in conclusion, so it is possible to with the good studies, okay, with the knowing the factor we can make Kuwait, this is part of Ku in Kuwait from this, this plan to be evaluated before to be uh, implemented and uh, in the landscaping and by knowing the factors, by knowing uh, your plan, by knowing the resources, is everything is possible even with the harshest environments. So the vegetation, uh, vegetative propagation of glacidia stem cutting with 100 centimeter length and three to 4.5 centimeter stem thickness is successful in generating high plant establishment and the number of leaves per cuttings. So a quantific and quantifications of establishment requirement of exotic species is necessary prior to their use in a green work. Thank you very much.